Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Monica from Crafting with Quilling Lady and I hope you have an absolutely gorgeous day. In this video I'm going to show you three Christmas stepper cards. If you've never done them before or you would like to see the technique or how I created them, please watch this video and just enjoy it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the supplies I used. I used the beautiful stamps from Hunky Dory and they come from the Miracle of Christmas collection. And for all my cards, I'm going to use the stamp Mary and Jesus. And this um, will be down in the description below so you can have a look. For all our cards, we're going to use 6 by 12 inches card. And I'm going to use my trimmer as a scoring board. Here I scored 2 inches. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a stepper card. And when you work in inches, I think it's so much easier. So, all our cards today measure 6 by 12 inches. And when you create a stepper card, you just have to remember that you have to have two of the same bits. Okay, so here I'm showing you the two in score line on the left, because that's what we're going to do for the first card. And then for this one, I'm going to measure three and three, and then two and two, one and one inch. So they will give us 12 inches in total. Or you can go the other way round which is one and one, two and two, three and three. And that gives us 12 inches. And I do encourage you to use the supplies you've got at home. And if you don't have a scoreboard, as you can see, you can use a trimmer and just use your scoring tool to put all the score lines here. Okay, so now it's the time to use a craft knife and a metal ruler. I do encourage you to put any mat underneath because we don't want to damage our surface below and I really didn't want to damage my glass mat that's why I put the cutting mat below. Okay so here when you finish cutting um, this long scored line we are going to start folding all the scored lines and that will create all the steps on our card and if uh, if it doesn't fold properly you can use a scoring tool just to make sure everything is folded properly okay so here i'm going to use a regular card and i'm going to stamp our beautiful uh, image using waterproof dye ink from Spectrum Noir. This one is in, is in black color and I absolutely love this waterproof ink because you can use aqua pens, sparkle pens, um, watercolor pens and watercolor paint as well. The colors won't bleed through the black ink. Okay, so for my first card, I'm going to use aqua pens from Spectrum Noir and they come from Tri-Color Sets. Um, I will leave the link, I, I will leave um, all the supplies down below in the description. And as you can see, I'm putting the color of the pen on the card and then I'm using damp paintbrush to spread the color on the card. And I do encourage you to use anything you've got at home. You don't need to have aqua pens. You can have watercolor pens or watercolor pencils, or maybe you have watercolor paints. I think that if you create a watercolor card with a beautiful image, it's just super super beautiful and unique and i'm pretty sure the recipient will enjoy it and appreciate the time you spent uh for me coloring these beautiful images just so much fun i absolutely love coloring and having fun with colors and i do encourage you 
to create your own beautiful cards in with coloring basically okay so anyway here as you can see I'm just putting um, the greens underneath and I'm going to use the damp paintbrush as well to spread the color and I wanted to show you that if you don't have watercolor card you can use a regular card this one is 160 GSM and it worked fine I just had to use a heat tool just to make sure that the card is properly dried before I um, I put it on the uh, on my card base but I do encourage you use whatever is in your stash okay um, I wanted to say that I really love love these new aqua pens from Spectrum Noir because as you can see there are three colors in one pen and this is just so unique and they are so pigmented and you can spread the color on the card so beautifully and all the colors mix they blend and I will show you later that if you don't have one color you can easily create it by just mixing different colors from the pens okay um, I also wanted to tell you that if you use any watercolor or aqua um, pens um, on your glass mat please clean it in between um, applying different colors because I usually put some pieces of my card there um, and then everything is ruined okay so here I'm going to use metallic uh, gold marker from Spectrum Noir and I'm going to apply the color at the top and it was quite tricky for me to see all the details when I was recording so I actually finished coloring off camera and I have to say that the camera doesn't give this pen justice it is so beautiful and if you have any metallic pens inks you use them on your cards they just give such a unique look okay so here we are done with our focal element and here i've got three small elements that will go on the stepper card and i'm using the same colors as i use for the background um, on my image and i'm applying the color with a wet paintbrush and if you don't want to wait you can use a heat tool to dry all the elements but I do encourage you to use tweezers um, because I you don't want to burn yourself basically okay so here I put double-sided tape on the back of my card and I'm going to use liquid glue and attach it to my card base and when you work with stepper cards I do encourage you to put something flat and big you can use an acrylic block just to make sure all the elements will be flat on the card I also matted and layered all these elements on the gold mirror card um, if you've seen any of my previous videos I love gold mirror card and I use it very often in all my projects okay so here we've got our focal element um, adhered on the card and now we've got all the small elements and as you can see I use the gold mirror card for all of them and I also die card Merry Christmas in Polish because I'm going to give this card uh, to my family member and I'm going to attach it with liquid glue and when you create a stepper card on the elements on the sides you can actually write to mom to dad to my favorite auntie and that will be even more personalized and this is so amazing with handmade cards you can you can do whatever you want and everything will be so unique and um, okay so going back to our card it wouldn't be me if I didn't add small gold gems I absolutely love them and they they just fit in this card so beautifully with the gold mirror card and the gold sentiment 
Let's have a look at our second card. The measurement is exactly the same. It's 6 inches by 12 inches and this time we're going to score 1 inch from um, the left and the right side. So our middle element will be 4 inches long and that will create the steps on both sides, left and right. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my measuring uh, for the card and it will be exactly the same but this time we're going to do it on both sides and again when you work with inches I think it's so much easier because uh, you just work with smaller numbers and the principle is the same so whenever you create a step the step uh, consists of two pieces and they have to be the same length so one step can be one and one inch long then the next one can be two and two inch long and then three and three and that actually gives us 12 inches so if you go from the bottom of the card you will see uh, from 12 to 11 it's one inch from 11 to 10 one then from 10 to 8 is two and so on the math is actually super simple here. As I said before, once you do the stepper cut once, it's just so easy to recreate it. Um, okay, so here I'm just putting all the score lines using my trimmer, and I do encourage you to use whatever is in your stash. Okay, so now we need our metal ruler, a craft knife, and uh, a cutting mat underneath because we don't want to do uh, to damage our glass mat or the surface you work on and um, this is just super simple just make sure you are careful when you use a craft knife because you don't want to cut your fingers uh, you just have to hold your hand still when holding a ruler. Okay, so here I'm folding all my scored lines and then we can use the scoring tool just to make sure all the folds are even. Okay, and that's our card base for our stepper card. It's done super simple, quick, yeah. Okay, so for our second card, we are actually going to use watercolor card. So I wanted to show you the difference using regular card and watercolor card. And we're going to do heat embossing using Versamark. And I prepared my watercolor card with anti-static bag. And I'm applying Versamark, uh, which is transparent and sticky ink um, on my image and I'm going to stamp it. I'm trying to apply even pressure but with bigger images it's not always possible and I'm going to use gold embossing powder. You can use any um, embossing powder you've got at home it doesn't have to be the same okay so here I missed a couple of spots and I thought you know what let's explore and experiment with our supplies so I actually put a little bit of Versamark on the side of my glass mat and I use my sparkle pen um, just to apply the Versamark and actually it kind of worked so I do encourage you to experiment um, I just didn't want to use uh, the stamping platform for this image because I wanted to show you that there is always a way and when you use uh, a heat tool on a watercolor card I do encourage you to uh, preheat it first because watercolor card is usually um, it has more GSM than regular card so it's thicker and it takes longer time to heat. Okay, so here I'm using the same uh, aqua pens from Spectre Noir. And as you can see, the color spreads really easily on the watercolor card when you have a wet paintbrush. It just works so beautifully um, on a watercolor card. It's just so simple. And when you do heat embossing, it's even easier 
because you don't want uh, you don't have to worry about um, going over the line because the heat embossing really helps you to stay within the line and you can play with the colors um, and here I actually uh, mix some of the colors so for example if you don't have brown which I didn't want to use here you can mix green and red and that will create beautiful brown okay so here I applied uh, gold um, sorry yellow and then I use sparkle pen for extra shine um, here I've got a long strip which will go at the bottom of my card and I'm applying the aqua pens uh, uh, colors on the card and I'm spreading it with wet paintbrush and I'm going to leave it to dry okay so here you can see our stepper card and I created these small elements and I use exactly the same technique as I use for the long strip and I also matted and layered all the small elements on a gold mirror card and I'm going to put uh, beautiful papers from the same collection from Hanky Dory uh, which I'm going to actually use for uh, some of my Christmas cards later on uh, maybe tomorrow I don't know and uh, I just want something heavy and flat just to make sure all the elements um, are flat Okay, so here I'm going to put our beautiful front panel uh, on gold mirror card and I used liquid glue. And it worked perfectly, but I put my big acrylic block for 10 minutes just to make sure that it was adhered properly. And now I'm just going to put it on our card base and put acrylic block again to dry. Okay, at the bottom I put the sentiment and I die cut it from gold mirror cut, which is exactly the same as for all the elements here. And our cut is nearly done. Uh, do you prefer the side stepper cut or do you prefer the steps to be on both sides? I'm really curious. I would really like to know. Can you please um, tell me down in the comment section? I thought it would be a great idea to add a few small gold gems because oh, they just have to be on this card. And our second card is done. And for our last card, we're going to use the same card, uh, the same measurement, which is six by twelve inches. And this one, this one will have steps on the right hand side. And again, the principle is the same. It's one and one, two and two, three and three inches. Um, yeah, I really encourage you to try this technique. I would love to see your beautiful creations, your beautiful stepper cards. You don't have to use this um, this card for Christmas. It can be for birthday or maybe thank you card i'm pretty sure the recipient would really appreciate your effort and they will be really curious how you created it okay so this time i'm going to use watercolor card again and i'm going to do the same um, gold heat embossing and Again, I missed some of the spots here, so I'm using my sparkle pen with Versamark and it kind of worked, but in some places there was a little bit too much of the powder. So I use my scoring tool just to get rid of some of the powder and I use the heat tool to melt all the powder. This time I'm going to use sparkle pens from Spectrum Noir and they come from the set Cool and Calm. Uh, when they dry, there is just so much sparkle in these pens. Absolutely beautiful. And they really go a long way. Uh, I will leave the link in the right hand corner with my other video when I use aqua pens. Please watch it and you will see um, the technique with no line coloring. It's super simple and you can also use sparkle pens uh, for this technique as well.
Okay, so here, as you can see, uh, I applied some sparkle pens on my glass mat because they are so pigmented. They're just so dark when you apply the color straight on the card. So I thought if I put the color on the glass mat and then use a sparkle pen, that will give me color variation. And it worked really beautifully here. As you can see, there are some shadows and highlights. And again, for my image, I'm going to use this metallic uh, gold marker. And then I use tissue just to get rid of the excess of the pen to get all the gold details of heat embossing. And here I use the same blue sparkle pens um, on the white card to create the beautiful elements on the right hand side. And I use the same gold mirror card to matte and layer. And I put the gold um, die cut sentiment which says Merry Christmas. So here you can see all the three cards I created. Uh, I really wonder which one you like the most. Would you rather use aqua pens or sparkle pens for your Christmas cards? I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so glad you stayed with me for this long um, process. But I really hope you learned something new and you will give this card a go. Thank you so much for watching, have a wonderful day and happy crafting. Bye!